Good morning. We are at Rashley again, and uh, today we're going to do a bit of surface fishing again. One of my favourite methods of carp fishing. So, uh, perfect day for it. So, I've uh, got my friend George with me. Say hi, George. Hello, nice to meet you all. Just going to get a few spoms out of bait, get them feeding. May take a little while. Sometimes they sneak out of this area at night and they drift in as the morning comes on. So it may take a little while to get them going, but we'll get some bait in, build up the confidence, and then uh, we're both gonna have a go for them. So, uh, fingers crossed. Well, there's a few out there already, just within less than five minutes of casting out. But we're trying to concentrate them between two of the six boys out there. And um, we're going to fish a controller either side of it, one each, and uh, hopefully pick them off. But um, we're just going to wait for a few more to turn up and then uh, hopefully get them competing because they're a hell of a lot easier to catch them. Um, and it is worth saying that the key thing to floater fishing is the feeding. If you can keep that feed tight and regular, keep it going in. Floater fishing is an active style of fishing. You want to keep that bait going in, not over the top, just keep it going in regular. Keep them there. If, if you let it thin out too much, the fish will drift off. So uh, we're just going to leave that for another five minutes and then uh, we may get a couple more spawns out. So hopefully we should get a group of sort of 20 or so fish and then we'll start putting our baits out. So come on the carp. Right. They're having it out there now, so uh, George is already out there, Georgie boy. So I'm going to get mine out, see if we can't get a quick bite. Short hook needle, see what's working. really holding its ground. Oh, look at that. Oh, it feels like a good fish. Just got to hold them. Now, let the rod do the like that. Let the rod do the work. See, it's, it's easing that fish out. And once we get it over deep water, we can ease off a bit. And we, we also got to bear in mind, this is a good fish, this is. Could be a 20 it's actually bending the butt there's a island to our right so if we lift the rod it'll run just got to take the time with this let the rod do its work look Don't pull its head off gain line when you can Once you get them heading your way, if you keep this rod low, they just start swimming towards you. Because it's the, it's the hard... yeah, there is a bit of weight to this, I've got to say. Mate. Right, he's out and safe now. So, because it feels like a decent fish, I'm going to ease off with him out there. Oh, look at that! Oh, he's angry. I don't feel so big now. Get away from those snags, you bugger. Let's go right over it. Oh, get out of there. Oh, that's it. 
Oh, it's not bad. Oh, it's beautiful. <gasps> what a stunner. <gasps> oh, it's a stunning mirror. Oh, he's ready. It's a nice walk. Oh, no, he's going to go again. Give him a bit of line anyway. If I can get his head up now, I think he'd be done. I'm sure I get under his neck, but... <laughs> No point rushing them now, even if you think they're done. Oh, look at that in that clear water. It'll be beautiful when the sun gets on there. I use that drag right up. And... Yes! Bit of fish. That bail arm off. Nice. Oh, sorry, I'm going to hold it up, George. <laughs> Tilt it. Oh, that's it. There we go. Look at that. Absolute humdinger of a Cornish carp. It's almost a fully scaled this side. I don't know what it is on that size. Oh yeah, that's what a beautiful fish. So have a quick look at the other side. Just spin it round. Yeah, it's got a few more scales this side. Let's cover him. Cover his eyes. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's no need to rush it. Lively. Lively. You're going to get me wet, aren't you? Just give him a bit more water. That can help calm him down. Are you going to behave? There we go. What a beautiful fish. And I know they're not monsters, but my God, do they fight in here. A young, fit fish. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's get this one back. Oh, stunning, stunning fish. One more look. There we go. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. That's the best bit, I think, sometimes, watching them go back. Go on. I think this is a good fish. Again, that one's definitely an upper, isn't it? Oh, it's a bit out of camera there, guys, but. Kept, followed my own advice, kept that rod nice and low, let the rod do the work. This fish gave some amazing lunges. Yeah, it's a good fish this is, I think. Certainly not done yet. Cool, I don't know if you can see that, people, but... Not done yet. Ah, it's not huge. Oh, but he's jet propelled. Absolutely jet propelled. There you go. Oh, he's woken up again. Cool, look at that fish go. He's not a bad fish, actually. For Ashley. Anything approaching 20 pounds is a really good fish on this water. Yeah, definitely. If you're uh, over 20, you're doing well. Yeah, anything over 20 is a, is a very good fish. I think there are some bigger fish, but some of the old originals. Oh, look at him go. That is a good fish, isn't it? Fish, Looks like an older one. Yeah, it's a baby. Royal. Jeez Louise. God, action is fast. Look at him go. That's insane. <laughs> because we have got, and he's seen them. Oh, don't, don't go over there. Oh, he's not that big. He's just got a big head on him, isn't he? Fish number two. If I can pop it out without doing him any harm in the net, it just makes sense. That's two. Two absolutely 
gaily stunning car. This is an absolute banger. They all seem to be in here, to be fair. I absolutely love them. I'm not had a, I've not had an ugly fish out of here yet. He's quite lively, mind, so. Look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? One for the future. He's got some cracking scales on him. Some little tiny ones as well, mixed in with those big, those big plates. Let's have a quick look at the other side. Give a bit more water. Beautiful colours. Oh. You're going to get me wet, aren't you? I can see it. There you go, there's the other side. What an absolutely stunning fish. God knows what its water's going to be like in a few years' time when these all grow on. So certainly seeing a lot of food nowadays, so... Right, let's get him back. He's been up long enough. Let's get another one. We're just getting a little bit of breeze out there now. So a little trick you can do. Oh, my spare rip bait there. You get some pellets in there. You can just use cheap vegetable oil if you like. Um, or I've got salmon oil there or whatever, but sunflower rapeseed oil is just as good. Put a bit of oil into your spawn and give it a good shake. And what that'll do is it will uh, flatten the surface off out there and slow the drift down so that we can uh, try and keep those hook baits in a, in a tighter area rather than the wind dragging them all out. Let's pour some oil in that, George. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, good lad. Right. And we want to go a bit more right with our cast now as well. We're in again. This one's taking a bit longer, but uh, it don't feel bad fish. Oh Jesus, he's going hard for that margin. He's a bit off it though, luckily for me. Enjoy the fight. Again, it's the same story. Just keep that rod nice and low to the water. And just let the rod do the work. You don't need to pull the heads off. If they look like they're gonna go, just let the rod do the work. Yeah, he's kiting big time. I'm gonna have to get some side string the other way. Gain some line on him because he's going. We've got a load of snags just down to our left here. Right. If you don't want too long a line down to your left, they could easily kite into those. Oh, Jesus. I'm not going to give him too much. Yeah, that's better. As soon as you put that rod up, look. You want to go. nice deep water here as well so it's uh you can just let them go feels a half decent fish it's trying to go the other way and that's not ridiculously like clutch let's bring him back this way again They're still having it out there. I don't know if you can pick it out at distance on the camera, but. Oh, God, angry fish. Angry, angry fish. God, fish is still going. God. Look at that rod. That's not silly light, mate. I mean, you put off them. Do it up just a touch. Yeah, just it's a fine line when you're float fishing because you're not using large hooks. Um, between putting the pressure on, keeping control of them, and letting them run. You don't have it too loose and give them free reign to find a snag. Oh, that was a good fish out there then, mate. This is what, oh, it's a beautiful mirror. Oh, it's a stunning mirror carp, I've just seen it. Oh, man. And boy, is it fit. This water's getting warmer every day now. And these fish are responding. 
I mean, there must be 20, 30 fish out there feeding. God almighty. Let me get his net ready. He's not ready yet, but if I can get his head up. God, look at that tail pattern. Well, I don't think I've had a 20 this year yet. I haven't done a lot of fishing, so. Oh, it's a lovely fish. Like a fully. That's not quite ready. Absolutely insane fight. It's a good fish, I think. At least up a doubles. I think it could go 20 this week. Oh, scrap. They just don't give up. They just do not give up. Oh, keep that head up. Oh, it's a good fish, I think. Get in the net. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> He didn't want to go in there, did he? Fish number three, get in. <laughs> this is probably the best fish I've had from Rashley. Um, it's absolute mint of a fish. Just under mid twenties, fully scale. Definitely not a stock fish, I would say. I think this could be one of the older ones, one of the rarer ones. It fought like absolute stink. Oh, what a creature. <laughs> Over the moon with this. That's the other side, look. What an absolutely beautiful creature. Oh my God. That is, that, well, it's not only made my day, it's made my spring, I think. That is an absolute beautiful fish. Oh, <laughs> what a result. Get in. Oh, this is a zoo creature. Absolute zoo creature. He's fighting like stink. Go on, George, get out there, mate. Yeah, get out there. I want to run the feed. There's certainly plenty feeding out there. I'm not sure if you can pick that up on the camera or not. They were like dolphins out there a minute ago. Absolute dolphins. A bit short, George. Yeah. Right, he's getting quite close now, so I'll ease off. A little whipper snapper, I think. Yeah. Well, I think he's one of those lovely little leathery ones. Do that up a little bit. Build up too much. Oh, look at that. Just let the rod do the work. Oh, he's going now. He, he won't take long. You just pass that net over, please, George. You're, oh, he's in the mix there. Uh, I don't think it'll be long. Yeah, it's a little bit. I they're only small, but... My God, are they fighting here. I love these little leathers. They're like a slate grey colour on the back. Oh, look at that rod go. Oh. <laughs> you think that fish was three times the size, but then it's put in this rod. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm not going to cast out now till George has had one. Give, give George a chance. Or is it, it's going to get a bit hectic here. God, they're jet propelled, aren't they? <laughs> this fish is on steroids, man. <laughs> That's not a really loose clutch. I mean, it's not. He's obviously a little male. And this time of the year, they're like... They are literally on... Look at him. I'm playing him quite hard, actually. So. Here we go. As soon as you get the red up. Nice. Five minutes. Oh, this is a cracking. I love these little. He's very lively. Very lively. Water on him. 
which is surprising because he put up a cracking fight. Oh, not the biggest in the world, but my God, did it put up a scrap. Georgie boy's in. Nice one, mate. About time you joined the party. He was slacking a bit there. It took him at least five minutes. I <laughs> Mental, isn't it? I think we've got a large group of fish, but they're not so big. They've been catching, they've been making pots then. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, we're going to be beating any personal back from here. <laughs> yeah. This is 29, is it? 28 and a half. Another level, is it? Yeah. Yeah. You won't be ready anytime soon. Keep on feeding. Again, it's um nobody taught me. I just got out there and did it. God, it's one lively fish, isn't it? Lovely. I've got tons, mate. Yeah, I've got about at least half a dozen of each side. Lovely. Stick out your pocket if you want. bit of slack not too much we're locked up solid on that because there's snags that side you don't want to give them too much too much line just let a little bit of line out and then uh, it just stops the float being pulled out by any surface drift I'm expecting a fairly quick bite for one of us oh it's right by my float I even think that one probably tried to eat the float. <laughs> it's exciting stuff. I'm going to turn the camera and see if you can't see something out there. I'm not sure how much you can pick up, but you may see a swirl or two. You in? Yeah. Nice. Watch my line there, mind. Nice, mate. That's it, just keep holding it. <laughs> just play it over. Do you want to move left a little bit? I'll get the swan rod out of the way. That's it. Mine's still out there. <laughs> well done. Get in. Georgie boy, he's in. Go on, George. Keep it, that's it, you've got it perfect, mate. Keep that rod nice and low like that. Don't have to pull its head off. Brilliant, mate, you've got it perfect. Get that ready. This mine goes while you're... Yeah, nicely played, George. Oh mate, if I looked it. Oh 
Oh no! Yeah. Sadly, they don't count. I know, that's mental, isn't it? I'm looking. <laughs> right. I just thought I'd, uh, we're having a bit of a quiet period here now. So I just thought I'd show you what I do with the hook baits. So you see that's a little bit of cork and I cut a slot in it and I super glue the hook to it. And then just snip off all the sharp edges, all the square edges. And sometimes that's good enough to get a bite, just like that. Um, I do soak them in salmon oil like that, just stick the hooks in a little bit of foam. Um, just like that. But we also, because sometimes they won't take cork for whatever reason, I cut a little dog biscuit in half and uh, we just super glue it to each side of the cork and then trim it down. So I'll just do that and then I'll show you and you can see what we're using. And they float really well generally, they're very buoyant. You can leave them out there even if the small fish are picking away. You've always got something there that looks a little bit like a dog biscuit. Um, and I've caught tons of fish doing this. Oh, probably in the last couple of years, probably over a hundred fish. So it's a very, very effective method. Anyway, let's super glue that on and uh, I'll show you the result. Right, looks ridiculous right now. One cut in half, all we do, we just trim that off like so like so and just rough it up a little bit and trim it down actually sometimes what i have done in the past when they're really having it i've literally stuck a dog biscuit to either side and it's uh, a bit of a kind of the floater version of the greedy pig rig you just have a massive hook bait that they can't miss but you end up with something like that so you can see it's stuck on there a bit of dog biscuit either side and, um, you know, if they are using their other senses to eat off the top, then, um, which I think they do do sometimes, that can definitely do the trick. When that's tied on then, dip it in some salmon oil, just leave it for a couple of minutes, try and get it all to soak in. And when that hits the surface, you get a big plume of oil around the hook bait. Um, and it works wonders. Works for me anyway, so give it a go. Tight lines. Well, hello again. Been a bit of a break as the wind has made this session an absolute nightmare. We have an awful lot of fish here and the wind got up, massive side wind, and it's just really made it difficult just trying to keep a hook bait. And even with all the oil, we've gone through two whole bottles of oil to try and flatten, but it just wasn't enough. But it's wind has just dropped off now. And if it, a few fish mooching around but they're not they're not going crazy so we haven't got very long left now so um we're just hoping for one last fish we could really do with a group just cruising into the area a new group of fish i mean there's a couple two three hundred in here at least i think so um there's every chance of it happening but fingers crossed we've got about an hour so come on a carp <laughs> well we thought it was all over uh, oh, one last cast and we got an absolute banger that's definitely an upper double god look at these colours on it that stunning piece of Cornish gold let's get some treatment on that hook hold Perfect. Right, let's have a proper look at it. You're gonna be eighth for me, are you? There we go. That's not a million, but oh, I reckon that's probably 18, you know. It's a bit of, it's a bit of weight to it with the spawn. They are definitely holding a lot of spawn at the minute. What a beautiful fish. What an absolutely stunning fish. A save, wasn't it? Look at that scale there, look. Little scale. Beautiful skin, look. It's all mottled. Fat as a pig. Beautiful fish. Just cover its eyes. It's a bright day. They don't like that bright light. 
Right, let's see if we can get a look at this other side. There we go. Lovely, stunning fish. That was definitely worth coming for. And they're definitely growing in here. Oh, over the moon. Get in. Let's get it back now. It's been out long enough. Oh, what a stunner. Go on, mate. Back you go. Awesome. <laughs> Brilliant. That's why you persevere to the very end. Bonus fish like that. Amazing. We don't really want to go now because it's looking really good for it, but we've got stuff on, so they'll be there next time we come back. Tight lines all.